I got a ticket. <laughs> You're gonna get me out of it. I am. Yep, I'm gonna pay the 30 bucks for you. <laughs> Are you nervous driving with me? Because I know like some people say you can't drive. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I actually failed my road test twice. So you failed your road test twice? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not driving. So what do you remember the first time you picked up a stick? Um, I remember my stick being pretty much a tennis racket. Tennis um, racket. Yeah, me and my best friend from home, we, we got the same exact sticks. Um, they were like, they had like sunflowers on the shafts and like literally a tennis <laughs> racket. Yeah. What did mom and dad think of lacrosse? Because they weren't lacrosse players, right? No, my uh, mom played soccer in college and my dad played baseball and hockey. So lacrosse was new to them, but yeah. Uh, once I started picking up on lacrosse, like getting really interested in it, my dad actually got better at lacrosse than I did quicker than I really? did. Really? Yeah, just being able to. Oh, have so he can handle the rock now? Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. He actually yeah, strings all my sticks. Really? Yeah. And he never played. Never played. Who was your biggest mentor growing up, lacrosse wise? Just a bunch of different people have little things to throw in there, and you know, most recently, obviously, Coach Spolina has yeah. had a huge impact on you know who I am as a player and. He's definitely taught me a lot about probably the most that I know about being a leader. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is he has such a good relationship with us. Yeah, you can tell he's just. Yeah, he's just. He's part of the. He's, he's part, part of the, of the family. team. Yeah. Like we're all yeah, one big really family, cool. and it's it's cool to have that that connection because you know like you know when he, he yells at you or he's trying to you know he's just trying to get the best out of you. You told me Lyle Thompson's your favorite men's lacrosse player. Why? Yeah. I think just his style and, you know, his kind of like swagger about the game. Um, he's also, you know, not the biggest out there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I can have some similarities with that. Uh, I'm definitely not the biggest girl out there. I'm not the strongest. I'm not the toughest. Um, but I think that having that skill and that kind of vision and creativity with the game that Lyle has, um, that's been big for me to kind of look up to. Why do you love serpent so much? Uh, it's been a big part of my family all growing up. My uncle taught uh, me, my sister, you know, all my cousins when we were, you know, six. We'd go out to Montauk a lot. So that was a big, um, like, summer activity for us. Yeah. Uh, family vacations have always been in Montauk every year. Um, I'm not very good, but <laughs> I could go out there and, you know, catch some waves. How about other hobbies? Photography is huge for me. I, I like to just... It, there's so many things out there to kind of photograph that, you know, why not? Especially nature, like sunsets and... Um, you I'm own a camera? Beach. I do, yeah, I do. How do you and your sister get along so well after spending, like, so much time together? How does that possibly happen? Because you told me you, like, never fight. Yeah, we, we never really fight. Um, we kind of just have always had each other's backs in any situation. Uh, we never really turned against each other. So with all of these records, you broke the single season record, NCAA history, last year. You're on pace to break the career record, the career assists. I mean, the list goes on and on. What's the one record that you feel like is something you're most proud of? Um, I don't want to say that I don't like pay attention to those records because obviously they're, you know, important and it's an honor to be a part of them. And, um, but I think the biggest record that speaks the most to me is our win record as a program, especially over the last four to five to six years of, you know, Stony Brook and me being here at the last four years. Um, just coming from when I was recruited, we were the 70th ranked team in the country to now being number one. Yeah, that's um, amazing. Yeah, it's just, it just speaks a lot to our win record. And I think that's probably, you know, it's probably, an answer you hear a lot, but it, it means a lot to me. What's the hardest thing in regards to like dealing with all this hype for you as like an individual? Um, there's a lot of hype on you know me and on our team right now, and I think that the biggest thing is kind of just to, to block it all out. I think blocking out all the noise is kind of huge for us. It's been a big part of our motto as a team, and just not listening to the outside world, just focusing on what's inside and uh, inside our huddle. Yeah. I think that's been big. Hype is one thing, and then there's there's dealing with hype, like on, on this end, right? <laughs> a bobblehead doll. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. They even have the eye black. The eye black's actually better than I can put it on my own face. Well, they so. can make it perfect. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah, they can they have it. probably a little more time than what I do. What was your reaction to a bobblehead doll? 
Uh, it's pretty surreal. I could have never it's imagined Kylie. anything. Kylie. <laughs> could have never imagined anything like this. So when did you start doing this eye black? Um, high school. Um, and it's all Batman inspired. Yeah, it's Batman. So it goes up like the wings and then comes in and a little bit in. Kind of like the Batman. All right, give it a whirl. Here we go. <laughs> so this is what I use for the outline. And okay, then I this color is the outline. It. Go for it. <laughs> oh, man. How does that look? We're good. Yeah, it looks just like the bobblehead. <laughs> Great stuff. Awesome. You're the best. <laughs>